It's July 27th, 2023. Welcome to the Day Weather Podcast brought to you by Cowboy State Daily. Same weather, different day. There's nothing really new I'm going to provide in today's video. We basically are in the same situation we have been over the last few days. And this will be the case through the weekend and into early next week. The high pressure ridge that's in the southwestern United States is dictating everything. It's dictating where the heat's going. It's dictating who gets rained on and who doesn't. So warm days, mild nights are going to continue. Thunderstorms, especially along and near the divide and the mountain areas again today in basically the same areas as yesterday. But there's going to be a bit more of a push eastward of the thunderstorms a little bit further out into the plains especially east of I-25, out across I-90 as well, I-70 as well. A little bit of an eastward shift to the deeper moisture. The deepest monsoon moisture, as we've been talking about over the last couple of days, will take place when the high pressure ridge begins to shift eastward. In the meantime, expect these afternoon and evening storms and great sunset photos coming in across the region from yesterday afternoon and evening especially across eastern Wyoming with those monsoon-driven thunderstorms. And speaking of monsoon, there it is. This looks a lot like yesterday's satellite photo, doesn't it? Almost identical. Same when you take a look at the radar in terms of what's happening early this morning with the nocturnal showers and thunderstorms across the northern plains. And you can just see this circle of areas of showers and thunderstorms from last night basically the exact same setup we showed you yesterday because there's the high again. This high pressure ridge is regulating the heat in the west and little spokes of moisture of that monsoon flow that we showed you on the satellite imagery just keep rotating around the high pressure ridge. And I'm going to kind of just step you through the next few days to just show you how consistent this pattern is going to be. So this is where the thunderstorms are most likely going to be developing by late afternoon and evening. Again, a lot of these are going to be right along and just on the other side of the Continental Divide, but getting a little bit further east into western Kansas and eastern Colorado later this afternoon, this evening, and tonight. And then across parts of the northern plains, you're going to get into some busy thunderstorm activity. Across Mexico, into southern Arizona, and across sections of New Mexico, there's going to be showers and storms again today. So this is today, and this is the severe weather outlook. We do have a couple of areas where we need to watch out for some marginally severe thunderstorm risk, the highest risk there in the Northern Plains, general thunderstorm coverage elsewhere. So this is going to be for tomorrow. Tomorrow, notice the thunderstorms are further east into Nebraska, further into Kansas, further into South Dakota, but notice there's less in the way for Western Colorado Western Wyoming and Utah. Now here comes the next plume in the Southern Arizona, and that's gonna take a day or two to come up through here. But for tomorrow and probably into Saturday and Sunday, the Western Slope thunderstorm activity drops. The thunderstorms get a bit more common east of the divide. As you can see there, this is a severe weather risk for Friday. Then for Saturday, very, very similar. Again, it's gonna be along the front range, out on into the plains, further north into Montana, Ah, A lot of activity down into Arizona and New Mexico, but then stretching all across I-70 into Kansas, Missouri, and the parts of uh, the central and southern areas of the Corn Belt with that ring of fire. You can really see that ring right here. And then along that front range areas of moisture and a little bit of upslope, we'll get those thunderstorms going, and there's your severe weather risk for Saturday. So again, parts of eastern Wyoming, western South Dakota, western Nebraska, a few thunderstorms are going to get strong. And this is for Sunday. So basically, same weather, just different days with temperatures holding steady all throughout that period. Notice on Sunday, though, we start to see Western Slope Four Corners area starting to get more in the way of thunderstorms. And this is by Tuesday, that eastward shift of the high pressure to Oklahoma is still being advertised by the modeling. So that deeper plume of moisture is going to be coming. And then here we go for Monday. You can see there's going to be deeper moisture into western Colorado, into Utah, especially by Monday, then curving back, but also across parts of the Canadian Rockies and Plains south into Montana as well. That's for Tuesday, and that's for Wednesday. And if you look at Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you can see it's very persistent, very pervasive all across the area. And this is where we're thinking heavy rain-producing thunderstorms early to mid-next week will certainly be a good possibility. 
Now, speaking of next week, with this shifting high, if you look at the temperature anomaly map for the next 10 days, well, you can really see where the core of the, the hottest temperatures relative to the 30-year average will be right here. And that's because that's where the dome of the heat is going to be shifting to. Look at this. Actually cooling off relative to average quite a bit in the far west, bringing Arizona, the Great Basin, the Four Corners region, the western slopes of Colorado, and into western areas of Wyoming, Snake River Valley of Idaho, cooling off a bit. Not a lot, but enough to take the edge off the heat. And this is where the hottest temperatures, the most humid, most uncomfortable conditions will shift to next week. Have yourself a great Thursday. See you tomorrow.